even dress. Not dress? Like this? Sis, you won't understand until you're married. See, I always welcome my husband in a special way. <laughs> Maybe okay. bring dress. All right, let me set the table. No, no, no. Don't dish the food. I'll be back. All right. Welcome, sir. Pedro. Sir. How are you? I'm very fine, sir. But I go there better if you go consider what I tell you that time. Yeah, make you touch my salary small, make you increase them. Mm, because the problem where they follow me now, <laughs> that salary no fee match them. At all, at all. <laughs> yes, sir. You're very funny, Pedro. <laughs> You're such a clown. Sir, not be funny matter. This one not be comedy, sir. Sir? Not be funny matter, sir. Sir, please think about it. Fine, man. Okay, oh, man. My bad. Uh, how are you, Mary? I'm well. Very well, thank you. So, I heard you were spending your youth service with us. Yes. Yes, I will. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Feel at home, okay? I will. <laughs> I'll yeah, I'll stop distracting them. <laughs> You're always, always something else. A beast, I know. But where you get such energy from after a hectic day at work is mind blowing. Well, you don't give me any time not to think of you when I'm at work, so I come home very hungry for you. Aren't I a blessed wife? Aren't I a blessed husband? <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. The other food is ready, actually. <clears throat> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go eat the other food there.
a ghost, okay? I just wanted to surprise you with my release from prison. I thought you still have more two years. Uh, yes, you see, in prison, when you behave yourself, your sentence will be reviewed, and I was lucky to be one to be released. That's me, flesh and blood. <laughs> Finally broke it. Sif! What? There's nothing to be shy about. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me now. It's embarrassing. Stop. What is embarrassing? <laughs> We're all adults here. <laughs> <clears throat> what are you ladies blabbing about? So, honey, my baby sis is getting married in two months time and she's still a virgin <coughs> honey <coughs> sorry honey are you <coughs> okay do you need water yeah. sorry <coughs> i'm okay i'm okay okay thanks baby sure <sighs> marie congratulations marriage is a beautiful thing I'm happy for you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Imagine my baby sis getting married as a virgin in this Gen Z generation. Okay, fine. I am no longer a virgin. Can we rest? Mm. Yes. Well, it's good. You know, couples have to be compatible in bed before they walk up the aisle. Say, I do. So they don't regret after getting married. Right, honey? Right. No regrets. So tell me, <clears throat> is it good in bed? Is it strong? Yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> My husband here. Mm -hmm. Can you give him some tips, right, honey? While at school, you know how to handle him. You know my baby here knows how far. <laughs> <coughs> 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 We're all adults. Come on. You know, it's so heavenly to be back home. Food is so delicious. Come back home and eat something well cooked. You know, actually, I didn't know that I could trace your house. Not until when Mama came to visit me in prison last year. She told me that you're doing well now. That you got a little job, a very small one. And um, you got an apartment and moved out of the family house. That's good. I really had the chance to ask you directly. Did you do it? And you believe that was guilty, right? That was why you couldn't visit me in prison for eight years, Lara. You couldn't visit your brother for eight good years. George, both of us know that you were capable of anything. 
It's, it's just that. It's, it's This is not the right time for us to talk about this. You killed my appetite already. So you can enjoy your food and eat. Wait. When last did you see her? Yvonne? You expect that she will still have something to do with us after everything that happened? Just please, just eat your food. I see the stars shining not through the night. I see the rainbow crossing through the sky. I feel the dews of heaven on my skin. It feels just like heaven on earth. I have you alive, but the stars are starting to fade away. I lost count of time. Feels Josh. like the dews turned into Josh. Blood. I had a beautiful life. Wake up. Slowly the rainbows are fading. Josh, I think um. You need a change of clothes. Yeah. Well, you know I can't afford a new set of clothes now. I mean, immediately I can't do that. I know. Um, so? Take this. This is 25,000 Naira. That's all I can afford. Thank you very much. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Don't look at the value with the eyes of eight years ago. <laughs> Things has really gone up. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. So I suggest you make the best use of it. Yeah, definitely I will. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> 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 Josh. Look, I don't know you. So stay away from me and mind your business. It's me, Josh. Josh. I I I, I used to be your, your And so what? Huh? Should I congratulate you for coming out of the prison? Huh? Look, I have no business with an ex-convict. So stay away from me. Uh, Madam, please. Help me. How much is it? Someone didn't get a fair prize on an Opika. <laughs> that bastard is out of prison. Did you know about it? Who? Who else got Eric murdered? Josh. Josh is out. But his sentence was 10 years, not 8 years. How come? Well, I just saw the criminal now. That criminal is out of prison. And he even wanted to start a conversation with me. Can you imagine that? Uh, where? Right there. 
Him. He, he was right here. Are you sure it was Josh you saw? Says it was him. I wish I mean I wish I didn't have to see him. He was just right here. Ah. I swear if I catch that murderer, if I catch him, he will not live on the surface of this earth. I will strangle him. Ah. He was just right here. Let's go. the clubhouse. I'll see you guys later. Welcome to our shop. Uh, yeah, thank you. Um, my car, I don't know. I think it has an electrical problem. The car has been jerking. Like jerking? Yeah. Okay, but the thing is that I'm not good in this, but I can send my boy to help you get someone. Okay. It's just around the corner. Okay, okay. Go, where, where is this boy? Huh? Are you sure I can do this work? You're too late, you. Because someone is here now. Ma, it will, it will help you. Let me kill with this mother! What's going on? I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. It was an accident. I'm really sorry. Please, forgive like me. Hell it was! Like hell it was! You deserve to die. I deserve to avenge my younger brother's death! Wait, stop, 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 Take her, take her first. Madam, please come in your temper. It's okay, please. Just my apprentice, please come in your temper. What is going on? What, what happened? Oga, uh, Oga. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Thank you, madam. What is going on? What is wrong with you? Why are they calling you mother? Now go, get, get out, go, go, go. Oh, okay. Go first! Let me, let me explain. Sir. I can't. Biting you. Nothing. Nothing. But since it's clear that you're angry, what happened? Some idiot pissed me off on my way here. Pissed you off. Sis, can you at least tell me what's going on? What's wrong? Marie, let me be. I'll get over it, okay? Oh, so I should let you be now. Hmm? But if it were to be me, you wouldn't give me a breathing space. You would keep asking me what's wrong. Now you want me to let you be. Sis? I thought she said it's nothing. Oh, 
release that asshole from jail. Ha! Ah, God, damn you, Josh. What happened? Lara, I can't talk now, please. Just leave. Uh, no, no, you're not going anywhere. Thank goodness you came back home. You know there is no way I am going to allow you walk out of this house in this mood. You know how dangerous your anger can be. Lara, I am not angry. I am just frustrated. Don't you get it? I am frustrated. God. Calm down. Talk to me. What happened? Lara, why can't I just live my life? Why can't I be me? Is it just because I went to prison? Huh? Why is it that everyone sees me as an outcast? Because I'm an ex-convict? Is it? Is it, Lara? God. Did they chase you out of the mechanic workshop? I mean, how did your boss get to know about this? I don't even know why I came here. I don't know why I played like Please, I want you to go. I don't, I don't want you to go out there and do something stupid. Please. I understand how you feel, but you have to calm down first. Please. Now I am calm. I am calm. Okay, yeah, I am. And I promise you I'm not going to kill anyone today. As a promise, I cross my heart. I see the stars shining not through the night. I see the rainbow crossing through the sky I feel the dews of heaven on my skin It feels just like heaven on earth I had a beautiful life But the stars are starting to fade away I lost count of time Feels like the dews turned into blood I had a beautiful life Slowly the rainbows are fading I lost count of time I feel the heaven over me is crashing down I read the stories in the book I never knew I would be one of the victims Went back to where I came from But it's alright, I'll change the story I've read the stories in the book But flipping through the pages Now I know the truth I thought I will be able To control everything but now it came splashing in my face Splashing in my face I had a beautiful What? Let me go Are you insane here on the road? No In the you're weird. 
I know. And that's why you love me. Look at this one. Hmm. I love the sleeve, but the down. Mm -mm, I'm not really feeling the down, but I just love the sleeve. Ah 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 ah! Sis, look at this one. See this one. This one is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Mm. This one. There is something about this one. I just can't place my hands on it, but. Sis, what, what do you think? Sis! Hey! So you mean I've been talking to myself since? Sis! Sis! Hmm? What's your mind? Uh, Josh, uh, uh, it's fine, it's fine. Josh! Hmm? What does Josh have to do in this conversation? Sis. Don't tell me it's what I'm thinking. Sis! You thought I would be happy knowing he's out of prison? He should rot there. As a matter of fact, he should even die there. Where to? Sis! Oh. 
Uh, Madam, you are here again. Please, I don't want your problem here, please. No, no. I didn't come looking for trouble. I just came to apologize to you and Josh. Where is he? Ah, Josh is no longer working here again, no? You have left. Gone? Uh-huh. Where? How will I know where he went to? You know, I'm no longer uh, comfortable working with an ex-convict and the, a mother also, so... I decided to send him away, so he's not working here again. Okay, but where, how can I reach him? At least the contact number, please. Ah. I don't have his contact number, seriously. I don't want to involve myself with any, in any problem at all. Please. There's, there's no problem, please. Just his contact, please. You please. sure? Yes. Uh, just wait for me, I'm coming. Thank you. Wait here. Thank you. Uh -huh. Back so soon? Yeah. I mean, who could have thought the clubhouse would be so boring? Boring? Yeah. Why do I feel like you were missing someone over there? Hell no. <laughs> By the way, my wife is still not back yet. Well, yes and no. She came and left again. Where has she been on and off to lately? Search me. I have no idea. Okay. Anyway, so how is he? Your fiancé? Oh. So tell me, do you want to know if it's also good and bad? No, no, no. I'm just asking how he is, generally. Um, he's okay. He's caring, industrious. He's also handsome and rich like you. We dated for three months before he popped the question. Sounds like a perfect man. But I haven't told you if he's also good in bed. Have I? No need to. Yeah. Anyway, I'll I'll be upstairs. Your sister and I are married now. And you've also found someone that you love, who loves you back. And I'm happy for you. Let's just remember that what happened between us was a mistake. And we both agreed we would move on. A mistake? We've moved on. We've moved on. I was getting worried. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? You are calm now? Yes, I am calm now. Okay. Um, I want to quickly get something down the street, okay? Sorry. Alright. I'm coming. I'll see you soon.
What is that? How did you escape prison without your time being off? Pardon. State pardon. Hmm. Wrong decision. You deserve to die! Just like you made my brother too. Sweetheart. Don't you dare call me that. I'm sorry. Can I? I died in prison. Over and over. Every. Every day of what happened. Do you think I am alive knowing that I have lost you? Over that one irredeemable mistake. Jesus, I'm killing my brother to cover it up. It's not a mistake. thinking that I cheated on you with my little cousin. No, I didn't. Sorry? Did you say sorry? Can sorry bring back my brother? Can it? So tell me, what do you want me to do? Tell me, what do you want me to do? I've gone to prison. I spent eight years. Eight solid years in prison. I have suffered guilt. Guilt over something that I would have just avoided. I'm being tapped all over town. As a murderer! An ex convict!
And I'm, you carry something for boots. You know, carry. This guy could carry up a cabby this one. Yeah. Why are you coming in from the back? I, I, I went to check something at the back. Okay. I'll be upstairs. such a thing. You've not been home all day. No one knew your whereabouts, not me, not your sister. You come in and you're acting very strangely. Suspicious as a matter of fact. But you know me better than that. You do. Fine. I, I went to her some personal issues. Family issues actually. Family issues that your sister and I shouldn't know about? I went to my brother's grave. I needed closure on his death. A moment I didn't want to share with anyone. Uh, Look at my eyes. I've been crying. Oh my. I'm so sorry.
you being serious? Yes. Oh. Well, I... I didn't know. I, I'm surprised. Um... I'm sorry if I disappointed you. Oh, no. No, no, it's... It's okay. We can go back to the living room. Wait. I want to do this with you. Are you sure? What's going on? Who is he? Uh, who? Who were you just making love to? Huh? You were definitely making love in, in, in your sleep and I'm not a spiritual husband. Baby, are you sure? Do you mean am I sure? So I don't know what morning sounds like anymore. No, I, I wasn't. I, I hope I'm not started snoring. Snoring, Ava. Snoring. Baby, do you want to make us? I've never felt anything this beautiful. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. But you were screaming in pain just a minute ago. What all the pain? <laughs> it was. Mhm. Mm mm. <laughs> mm. <sighs> How do I get over you, Leroy? How? Over you, I can't. I can't get over you. I can't. I just can't. Oh, good morning. Hi. Good morning. Mm. Off to work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Hope. Hope you slept well. Yes, I did. I slept all. Alright. I'll see you. Um, wait, just... Hold on. Um. Um. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. There. Perfect now. All good. All good. Thank you. Mm. I'll see you later. All right then. Bye.
a crazy headache. Should I get some pain relief? No, 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 no. It's already subsiding. I just need to rest. Wow. Well, I'll be fine. <laughs> Are you sure we're going for this your wedding shopping today? Or should we postpone it tomorrow? Marie! I should just get to that meeting. I'm no longer sure I want to go through with this. Marrying Dennis might be a mistake. What are you blabbing about? My virginity. Dennis wasn't the one that is virgin to me. <laughs> wow, wow. My sis, my little sis, has been cutting shows all along pretending to be a virgin. <laughs> so what's the problem? Does Dennis think you're still a virgin? No. Of course we make love. But sis, it's, it's much deeper than that. Look, I don't want to cheat in my marriage. I don't want to. But I can't... I can't get over the man that is virgin me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Hold that thought, okay, for a minute. Just hold it. Are you trying to tell me that you don't love Dennis anymore? I love him. I love Dennis with my whole heart. I love him. But I'm not sure. I I don't know if I'll ever be faithful to him. <sighs> Let's assess. Listen. It's just your mind playing tricks on you. Don't you ever make the mistake of losing something you have found good in Dennis. You may not recover from it. I'm confused. I'm really, I'm confused about everything. I don't know what to do. This is us. Trust me. When you and Dennis get married, Love will be, make you so busy that you won't even think of another man. Or even look at another man. Now you're trying to make me feel guilty. No. No, I... I understand. I lost... I mean... I mean, I thought I lost you eight years ago. 
Can we stop talking about eight years ago? I finally found closure. Thank you. Nothing to thank me for. I needed it for my sanity. At least you... All that is in the past now. I'm glad. Look. I'm a married woman now, Josh. forever treasure all that we had while our relationship lasted. But I love my husband. I... I understand. And... Uh, you've moved on. It goes well with the wedding dress you opted for. Yeah, check it out. Have you seen the other one? That one is so nice. It's so beautiful. This one. You see, and they are just varieties of style. You might even get confused looking at them. I know, right? Yeah. We must have to we pick one at the end of the day. So mm. Check this one out. No, I don't like this one. So. What about this? Mm, more like it. You know, I like something bold, not just... Just straight. I like them. Hey! Hey! <laughs> there you are. Hey, darling. Uh -uh. At last. <laughs> there. When did you come in? Yesterday, and as a good friend that I am, I decided that the first person I'm going to pay surprise visit is you, my friend. Before Uncle, who you be one report to first? <laughs> London is actually treating you well, though. Happy. <laughs> uh, I saw that the same thing. <laughs> so? Your dress is dirty. Yeah, I was about to say that too. What happened? It looks like you sat on the trash. Uh, no, I, I, I don't, I don't know. Avon, you no longer wear a wedding ring. I guess I didn't, I didn't wear it today. I'll give me some minutes. I'll be back soon, okay?
I will just fry it a little bit. Mm. So Mary is planning her wedding and you didn't even bother to let me know. Look, I'll, I'll be right back, okay? I'll be back soon. You're going out again? Look, I'll be back soon. At least change the dress. Avon! Oh well. So? I see the stars shining not through the night. I see the rainbow crossing through the sky. I feel the dews of heaven on my skin. It feels just like heaven on earth. I had a beautiful life. But the stars are starting to fade away. I lost count of time. Feels like the dews turned into blood. I had a beautiful life. Slowly the rainbows are fading. I lost count of time. I feel the heaven over me is crashing down. I read the stories in the book. I never knew I would be one of the victims. Went back to where I came from. But it's alright. What's going on? What are you doing here? I saw your car parked outside and I, I, I just was wondering what, what you're doing here. What are you doing here? Um, 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 uh, you know Verena, um, my friend in the UK? Yeah. Well, she told me to come and check this building. I mean, she and her family went to a quiet. So I just remembered that I hadn't come. That's why I came. This building? Hmm? This old, dilapidated building that's probably as old as my father. I've been discouraging her, but she wouldn't listen. But I'll talk to her. You better, because this... this this is going to cost a lot to, to renovate or demolish or whatever it is they want to do. Yeah, I know. It's a waste of time. You done? Yeah, of course. All right, let's leave this place. Okay. Everything all right? Please, please, I need a huge favor from you, please. Okay, I'm all ears. Where have you been all day? Is that an engagement ring? No, that's that's a wedding ring. Hey, what's going on? Who is getting married? It's Evans. Evans? Wait, the same Evan? What are you doing with a wedding ring? I truly don't know. You don't know, Josh? Hope you are not planning on getting into another trouble with that girl's family. I heard her husband is very wealthy and influential. So I heard. You can tell by the kind of car she drives and how she smells. She smells classy. Good. And that is not the kind of person you would want to mess with. Or do you want to go back to jail? I'm not planning to get myself into any trouble. I already have enough on my plate. So tell me, how did you come about her wedding ring? I had sex with her. I fucked her again. And again.
Hey, Hi. look who we have here. <laughs> Vera. Hi. Hi. Hi, Lori. Hi. I can see my friend is really taking good care of you. What are you talking you about? Look good. <laughs> Take a good look at her and tell me I'm not the one taking good care of her. <laughs> <laughs> we're both taking care of each other right. apparently mm -hmm. she was just telling me that you're in the country in flesh and blood <laughs> that's good Thank it's you. good to see you you're welcome good to see you too and what's this i'm hearing about you wanting to buy that abandoned old dilapidated building <laughs> silly girl um, trust me i had no idea she discussed that with you well, I think it's a terrible idea. Right? Mm -hmm. Come to think of it, I was giving it a second thought. Well, thanks for your concern. You should. You should. That place is terrible. Nothing will come of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, I'll leave you girls to catch up. Let me go freshen up. Thank you. I'll see Good you later. Good to see you, Laurie. <laughs> Thank you. Good to see you, too. All right. Take care. You have really cotton side shoes. You did it in an abandoned building. Oh. It's not particular. <laughs> I don't know what so you know. that was where your clothes are dirty, right? Come on, don't even try to deny it. There's nothing to deny, it's just in your imagination. I uh -huh. see you're shaking. You can't even put up a front look. That is where you want to look for your missing ring, right? Stop it. You don't want to tell me? <laughs> stop, just stop. Look, let me just go upstairs, alright? I'll be back soon, alright? Okay. Babe, is that you? Yes, honey. Okay. Babe? Yes, babe. You know, you haven't given me my usual welcome for two days now. I'm sorry, dear. Why don't you just finish freshen up and I'll make love to you? Sex on demand is not love making, baby. I'll pass. So, uh, very early tomorrow morning, I need to go to Abani to check out the land I told you I want to buy. I need you to come with me. Very early? Yeah, very early. You have a problem with that? Uh, no, no, it, it, it's fine. Okay.
bedroom. Madam, shh! Don't make any noise. Give me the key, then you can go back to sleep. Which key? Shh! The key to the gate. Madam, shh. any problem? Where are you? Just give me the key, Pedro. Where are you want? Shh! to farm robbers go enter. So we just keep gate open. What's that? It's Avon. My ring. Please tell me you have it with you, please. Yes, yeah, yeah, just uh, wait here. Okay. Hey, Laraba. <laughs> Quite a long time. How are you? I'll be fine if you don't get my brother into another trouble. Let me do it.
Your sweetheart wanted water and you were nowhere to be found. I decided to help out. <laughs> and he couldn't get it himself. Well, I'm the wrong person to answer that. And where did you sneak off to? You're the wrong person to ask me that. Oops. Sorry. Don't let it be what I'm suspecting. No. Marie wouldn't dare. Yes. I'm awake. And I'm just sitting here wondering where my wife slipped out of bed and snuck to at this time of the night there there um she had a medical emergency so she called and i went and i didn't want to wake you up so I, I left quietly medical emergency yeah remember she's asthmatic give me your phone how is she She's fine. I, I got a new inhaler. All right. That's good. That's good to know. For real, for real. You need to seriously stop making me your alibi. I mean, you're not being fair to your husband cheating on him like that. I know. I don't get it. I thought when women get married, they don't cheat if they are well fed, well screwed, given money and attention. And you never complain about any of this. What more do you want? It's Josh. Who is Josh? The same Josh. Oh my goodness. He's out of prison. Yes. And I've not been able to get over him. What? I can't believe I just heard that. Marie, stay out of this. Hell no, I won't. Say that scumbag killed our brother. She did. Come on, what's going on? Can you just stop? What has gotten into you? Just stop. Josh didn't kill Eric. It was an accident. They got into a fight, which Eric shouldn't have started in the first place. 
you were so despicable. You were shameless. I can't believe. I can't believe that came out of your mouth. I can't believe this is. I am so shocked and disappointed. How long was it in prison? It's nine. It nine. was eight. Look, Josh is the love of my life, and he still is. We shared, do not simply be wished away by time, distance, or circumstances. I love you, boy, but some things are deeper than love. No man, no man has ever made me feel the way Josh did. You definitely need a psychiatrist. Just don't rope me in your web of flies again. Ever. Fair. I know you don't understand this, but please don't allow my indiscretion, as you may seem to see it that way, cause a friction between us. I'll sort myself out. So where does this leave me? The advice you gave me the other day? What was it you said again? Love would keep you so busy with your husband that you won't even be able to remember any other man. I know what I said. Even you didn't believe in that, right? Obviously I was wrong, but don't make me your standard. Don't bother. Because you're no longer qualified to advise me on any matter. But one question though. How would you feel if Leroy were to be cheating on you with someone you least expect him to? I said I would sort myself out. Mm. I hope you can. Dennis, there is something important I need to tell you. Go on, dear. I'm listening. No, look, it's it's not something I can discuss on phone. I would create time next week so I can come over. Now you're scaring me, honey. I'll see you next week. All right, dear. I love you. I said I love you. I've I've got to go. Bye. Following you up to Marie. Sorting myself out. Look, this is this. Don't make the mistake of ruining your life and future. I thought you told me that Dennis was the perfect guy for you. Mm. Okay. So tell me. With all the happiness I see around you and Leroy. Is he not perfect enough? That you had to run back into the arms of Josh? This is not about me and Josh. It's about you. Please. Think things true. Please. I don't get it sis. I don't. What is this? Huh? No what is this? Will you help me love Dennis? Or stay faithful to him on my behalf? With you? 
Why don't you sort out your issues and allow me sort out mine? Come on, Avon. Give yourself some sense. You wanted closure in your brother's death, and you had it. What more do you want from Josh? Why do you ask as if you don't know already? There's nothing else to know, other than she is happily married, resurrecting her ex from fearing her. Not if she does it more discreetly than she's doing now. To what purpose? For balance emotion, I mean, one part of her will long for him forever. Tell me that you were not aware that she was longing for him all these years that he was in prison. Stupid balancing of emotions, if you ask me. I mean, she has everything, sex with her husband. No man or woman can give you everything in sex, only in statuable sexual urge. And Josh is blessed with everything. I wonder why you ignore the danger in all of this. Well, as for me, sex is the sweetest when stolen. In fact, it thrives in the face of danger. Enough! Enough! Hey, hey, hey. Huh? Are you okay? Yeah, sure. Are you sure you're okay? Baby, you've been acting very strangely lately. What's going on? Nothing. I'm fine. Are you sure you don't want to see a psychiatrist? No. No, I'm fine. I'm okay. Did you notice how drab it was? I hope you're not putting the blame on me. I've never had it this bad with you. Not even when you were tired or sick. I'm sorry, honey. It will be better next time. Gate like that. Who be that one? Uh -uh. Bro, you won't the gate. Oh, sorry. Oh, um, you must be the security person here. I must be. As in by fire by force. No, I that just... cost you. They cost. Which one be? You must be the security. If they cost me. Okay. Um, please. Is this the... Uh, um, Ogabeg, who you define? Go straight to the point. Who you define? Okay, I believe this is the residence of engineer Leroy Oga. You believe? Uh, you don't believe already. Before you even reach here, you don't believe saying I... Oh, yeah, enter now. As you don't believe. You believe? What do you come to ask again? When I go just there, they talk too much. Just there, they talk plenty. Plenty waiting, no, no even matter. Okay, uh, please. I am actually here to see Marie, my fiancé. <laughs> You are here to see Marie. See as you even call her Marie. My fiance. Okay. So where your motor? Where your Jeep? Excuse you. Well, I don't excuse. Okay, where your motor? You say excuse you. Where your motor? You don't reach car now. You change English. Mr. Security Man or whatever you are, I have come from far 
I don't have the strength or the patience for this. Trust me. Oh, uh, God, nothing concerns me for the distance where you cover. People where they trade too much, they jumping people. When they cover long distance, we don't already know. Una. See, I know who you define because you see this lady where you define because where they are. That lady is psychedelia. I be psychedelic on the column. She know they follow all these men where they jump from one keke to Okada. You go they quarrel before you reach her, you go don't quarrel with six to seven people. She know they like so I don't understand. No be by red shirt, where your car? I know like but in there. Am I, am I going in? You say? If you enter here, if they know handcuff you, you know say no be there outside. When you really want to explain yourself, you go no. Is this, is this guy? Is this guy okay? Hi, Dennis. Hi, babe. Okay, guess what? I'm actually at the gates of your sister's house. What? See, can you just come talk to your silly gates, man? You wouldn't let me in. Um, yes, um, I'm coming right there. Why did you lock my vesto outside the gate? I don't lock him outside though. I just say make I carry the food where I go by, put it inside. It don't say since morning. I don't know why you nah, no Greek cook. Mm. So because of food, you decide to keep my guest outside? Hmm? <laughs> Madam, how? How I won't take day that weekend? I do have some interrogations, small, small interrogations, you know if he pass. Now Come on, will you stop blabbing your mouth and open the gate? Now! Ah. I mean, no pass interrogation, though. Let's say you won't carry and come back. Pedro! Pass. No pass, you. Nothing we even know. Hi, Dennis. Oh, hi, babe. Let's go inside, please. should try your luck there. I mean, accommodation won't be a problem since they have laborers come there. Mm -hmm. And they also be feeding daily allowance. What are you saying? Do I have a choice? I don't have a choice. See, let me tell you, I am ready to do anything. Anything just to make money. Even if it means me washing the public toilet, I will do it just to raise money for myself. That's the spirit. Good. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, since we have agreed, I want you to start preparing yourself while I go sort out for your transport, okay? But don't stress yourself to sort out the transport. You are my brother. I mean, I should support I you. I know, but not because I'm your brother, you kill yourself. Are you expecting someone? Yeah, yeah it's coming. So I couldn't charge my phone. Oh. Um. Can I speak to you alone? I mean, in your room. Um, I think here will be better. Okay. Lara. Oh, sorry. I will excuse you guys. I wanted to tell you um, on the phone that we can no longer see each other. Um, yes, I I was thinking the same thing too. Okay. Uh, what we did the last time was wasn't right. Actually, the truth is that um, I had to buy your line. I'm hoping it was going to help. Oh, you did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Um, 
Thank you. You're welcome. Um, here's 500k. A parting gift from me. I'm sure it's go a long way for you. Um, I can't accept it. I, I, I can't. Why? Come on, Josh. You need the money. It, at least it will get you started. I know I need the money, but I'll hustle and make the money for myself. I am already indebted to you. Please, try and understand. Fine. Um, I guess it's final bye. Yes, it is. Bye. It's not just a feeling, not a habit. It's the love. It's far from emotions. It's more than love. It's not a habit. What did you do that? Look, why didn't you collect the money? You should have collected that money from her. What, 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 what do you really want? What do you really want? Tell me, what do you want? Huh? This moment you say, I don't want to see you with her. And the next moment you... Oh, please, these people sent you to prison for crying out loud. Lara, I know. And I am out now, am I not? It's not just a feeling. Not a you know habit. Your I am ready to hustle for myself, make my own money. Huh? Please. Who rejects money these days? Mm. See, they're winning there. You say the money I'm giving you for your transport. I'm borrowing you, you will have to pay me back. See? Two zero. Is that not your boyfriend? You left me with no choice with the way you sounded on the phone. Worse still, you refused to take in my calls subsequently. So you had to come all the way to hear the bad news. Bad news? Bad news? I knew it. It was all over your, your, your tone on the phone. So Marie, what's the bad news? I... My sister, Avon, says, please, can you give us a minute? We're uh, in the middle of something. I know. You're welcome, Dennis. It's nice to finally meet you. Oh, it's my pleasure, Avon. And she's actually told me very nice things about you and your husband. Mm. It's just um, quite unfortunate that we, we meet at the wrong time. Please do forgive my sister for not being hospitable. I'll speak to her. She'll amend that. Meanwhile, can you please excuse us? Marie, I'd like to speak with you privately. I'll be back. Okay. What were you up to? I already told you to stay out of my business. Don't be silly. How can you just throw away a good-looking, homely guy? Hmm. Well, is he more good-looking and homely than Leroy you are almost throwing away? <sighs> Listen, you asked me to sort things out with Josh, and I have. Don't make this mistake. I know that I've pushed you into an emotional heartache because of my stupid mistake. I'm sorry. Look, it's more than your mistake, sis. Avon, I thought I loved Dennis. I thought I did, but I just realized that I don't. I don't love him. Yes, he's a nice guy with probably everything any woman would want in a man. But inside me, I, I want something more. I want something more than he can give. Listen. Don't 
don't rush things. I need you to think this properly. Evaluate things. Look, if you need time, ask Dennis to spare you some time. But don't rush things. Don't make a mistake. Please. The headache hasn't left. It's not just the headache. I'm feeling nausea. Oh, Seth, I, I think you should see your doctor. Yeah, I'm headed that way. So sorry. But if only you could drive. I wouldn't have a hat to order a cab. Yes, yes, I know. With all the cars in this house, right? position for long and it's not been long I ate. You scared me. Are you sure you're okay? Says I'm fine. Okay. Maybe we should just see a doctor together. Hmm? Hmm? Come on says I'm okay I'm fine. Are you sure? I told you it's probably what I ate. But I'm oh. okay. That must be my cab guy. Just come with me and tag along at least. No, I, I'm just, I'm just take a rest. Mm? But I'm fine. Okay, you have nothing to worry about. Okay. Fine. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Take I'll care. See you later. What did he do? Well, he said he stole construction properties. But I know he didn't do it. Please see what you can do about that because they're planning to send him to a good prison. Jesus Christ. Okay, 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 thank you. Oh God. What kind of problem is this? Eh? What do I, where do I even start from? It's not just a feeling, not a habit, it's the love. How do I know who it is? It's far it from can't be Josh. God, no, enough. it shouldn't it's be. Not a habit. It's 
deeper than love. It can only be Lerat. It's deeper than love. I haven't slept with Dennis for months now. It's deeper than love. It's deeper than love. What have I done? What have I done? It's not just a feeling, not a habit, it's the love, it's far from emotions, it's more than love. It has to be Leroy. I only slept with Josh once. Gosh, how could I have been so reckless and doing it without protection? It's deeper than love. Who be that? Hold on. Hey, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm fine. Who are you looking for? Um, I'm here to see Mrs. Evan Olga. Evan Olga? <laughs> That's my madam. So, uh, are you here as a friend, sister or a visitor? As a visitor. Just a visitor? Yes. Uh, thank God. Thank God. So that it would be easy for me to express myself. And please give me a little of your time. Do you know you are beautiful? Ah. Do you know you are so, so beautiful? Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, so can I? No. Can we get no, to no, know each no, other? No, please. I am here on an urgent matter, please. Yeah, this one, why they tell you that they urgent town? When I come, we will talk about it. Thank no, you. They, sister, go, 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 make a deal. Sorry for biting in on you like this. Honey, who is there? Um, um, uh, my fashion designer. I I'll, I'll speak with her outside. Okay. Why would you bite in on me like that? I'm so sorry. I had no other choice. See, Josh is in serious trouble. What has that got to do with me? Josh and I are in the past now. Please, if we don't do anything to get him out of that place, he will go back to jail. Please. Jail? What did he do? He was framed for stealing in your battle. I went there to try bail him out, but the people involved are influential and determined to send him back to prison. Please. You've come to the wrong place. I'm sorry, I can't help. Please, Evan. You can actually help him, you know it. Please. I don't have anywhere to turn to. I don't have anybody. You are my last hope. Please. Please, I beg you. What's the name of the country? Vigo Engineering. So Josh's sister is now a fashion designer. Hmm. Marie, stop making a mountain out of a mold, okay? She just came to ask for help. Yes. For Josh. I heard. You heard. And her presence is irrelevant. Of course. I mean, of course. It's, it's irrelevant. See?
God, why did you allow me bring all these complications upon myself? I cannot impose another man's child on my husband. No, Lee doesn't deserve this. I need to be sure it's his child. Hi, Annie. Where did you disappear to? Um, I had to use the restroom. What was that you were discussing with your sister just now? Uh, uh, nothing important. Uh, like I told her, it's relevant. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, what's up? What were you doing? Nothing, just laying down. Mm. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, what are we having for dinner? Whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Pedro, leave the gates open. What? Leave the gates open. Why can't leave my open? Don't ask me. Just leave the gates open. Why don't make a fan here? No, jump over the fence. Make a just leave my open. Why don't five minutes give me a long two years? Yeah. Let me leave the gate open. In your life. Shut up. So you had my keys all along, and you made me go up and down, sweating, looking for them. Hey, now you this. My, my word, hand me the key.
I thought you said there is nothing you can do to help. Look, Lara, I've come to discuss something important with you. Look, um, can I have Josh's personal items like clothes, handkerchief, toothbrush, anything? I hope this has nothing to do with my brother's travels, does it? To be frank, Lara, I'm pregnant. See, I need those items for DNA tests to know if it's for my husband or Josh. So if there is nothing you can do to help me and help Josh, please get the hell out of my face. Lara, Lara, you got me wrong. Do you, do you think it's in my nature to just sit back and watch his father rot in jail? That's if the pregnancy is his. Look, I'll do anything to get him out of trouble. Please. So how do you intend to help him? My husband, my husband, he works at Vigo Engineering Industry Headquarters here in the city. I'll ask him for help. I'll get help from him. Um, okay. In that case, you will have to come with me too. Why should I care so much about her feelings while she freely continues to frolic with enemies that cost me and my family so much pain? Who does she think she is to have the entire world at everyone's expense? I see the stars shining not through the night Crossing through the sky, I feel the dews of heaven on my skin. Welcome, darling. What's the meaning of this, Marie? Which of the food would you like to eat? Stop this nonsense. Stop this nonsense at once. Where's my wife? Oh, your wife? She's in the bedroom. Wait, I, I thought she told you. Look, don't worry. Hey, please. Stop it. You say, 
Pedro, you heard me now. Uh, I heard you. What thing I want to know now? Whether you say whether I don't take or you never take. Which one? You must be silly. Everything we do, women, <laughs> just one rib. Only one rib where God collect from us, right? They cause this wahala. Just one rib, one rib, now we give God, right? They cause this wahala. So say we give our life for our parents. Hey! <laughs> oh, hello, sir. You're welcome. And since when did you start dressing like this in my house? Oh, you mean this? You like it? <laughs> what? You like it? <laughs> it's sexy, right? Well, you see, today is a special day. Our darling is back. But, unfortunately, I just made food for two because I didn't know you'd be back so soon. I mean, I didn't know you'd be back from your trip so soon. What has come over you this evening? Like, are you drunk? Drunk? <gasps> yes! I am drunk in love. <laughs> I am drunk in love. Drunk in love. <laughs> hmm. You didn't tell me you were going to Ibadan. Huh? Uh, Ibadan? Um, who told you? Was I supposed to find out from someone else? Don't you knock? Can't you see we're having serious conversation here? Please, if you do mind. Oh, oops, oops. My bad. My bad. Maybe I should go and come back later. But no need. Because I have good news. I'm pregnant. What did you just say? I am pregnant. Dennis came last month and you guys beat up and... You're wrong. You are wrong, sis. My sweet baby here is the father. You must be mad to spew such rubbish out of your mouth. <laughs> Honey, is this true? Let's start here first. Why don't you explain to me what this is? Mm. Mm -hmm. You want to explain? Because I know for certain that child is not mine. You think I don't know? You think I don't know about your ex-convict lover, Josh? Well, don't look at me like that, sis. I didn't tell him about Josh. Not like I didn't want to tell him. Oh my God. You're pregnant for my husband. And my husband. And you are pregnant for Josh. That scumbag. That bastard. Honey. Honey. What are you going to do? You can have the house. I'll come back for the rest of my things later. Really? And oh, yeah. She didn't need to tell me anything. You think I bought that cock and bull story about Vera wanting to buy that abandoned government project. I went back there and made inquiries. And I heard everything. 
What kind of stupid married woman parks her car in front of such a place and, and goes and gets fucked in an abandoned building? That filthy place for the world to watch. Don't, for you. don't touch me. Okay? Wait. So what happens to me and, and this pregnancy? Your baby. What happens to us? You can keep it. What? That's what you've always wanted, isn't it? As much as I tried to stop this from happening, you kept pushing. And now you got what you wanted. So keep it. No. Excuse me. No. One last thing. Who do you think set up Josh? He'll rot in jail. Because that's where he belongs. Hey, Ron! Hey, what are you going to? Hey, Ron! Yet you refused. But you see me, I am not giving up at all. Yes, infidelity is a serious issue. But you're not a sin either, as long as this matter is concerned. Yes, but mine was an unintentional mistake. Mistake has no two definitions. Thank God the DNA result shows that you are the father. You can't abandon your unborn child now, at least not this very first one. I, I, I don't intend to abandon my child. Good. I know that if your father was alive, he would be telling you the same thing. Find a place in your heart to forgive your wife, even. Like I told you before, Uncle, that's not something I can promise anyone. <sighs> You're always as stubborn as your mother. Well, that's all I can say for now. I see the stars shining all through the night I see the rainbow crossing through the sky I feel the dews of heaven on my skin It feels just like heaven on earth I had a beautiful life but the stars are starting to fade away I lost count of time Feels like the dews turned into blood I had a beautiful life Slowly the rainbows are fading I lost count of time I feel the heaven over me is crashing I'm sorry I've read the stories in the book Of flipping through the pages Now I know the truth I thought I will be able To control everything But now it came splashing in my face Splashing in my face I had a but the stars are starting to fade away I lost count of time Feels like the dudes turn into dust I had a beautiful life Slowly the rainbows are fading I lost count 
moment of time I feel the heaven over me is crashing down I read the stories in the I book never I never knew I would be one of the victims oh, yeah, Went oh, back yeah. to where I came from But it's alright I'll take this I'll take responsibility for the child and everything that concerns it but you'll never come between my wife and I again I see the rainbow crossing through the sky I feel the dews of heaven on my skin It feels just like heaven on earth I had a beautiful life But the stars are starting to fade away I lost count of time Feels like the dews turned into blood I had a beautiful life Slowly the rainbows are fading I lost count of time I feel the heaven over me is crashing down I read the stories in the book I never knew I would be one of the victims Went back to where I came from But it's alright, I'll change the story I've read the stories in the book But flipping through the pages Now I know the truth I thought I will be able To control everything but now it came splashing in my face, splashing.